This wrench drum video outlines how to create a custom Zebra ticket using an X320. Required tools would be a laptop or PC, the View 300 software, a magnetic Rinlink cable, and this free website which is labelary.com. We're using the online viewer. First thing we would need to do is look in the reference manual. I have it here pulled up. It's page 50 on the R320 reference manual. It's important to know that two predetermined print strings can be created using an X320. Also, that tokens must be preceded with a backslash. We're going to create a print string that contains the time, date, and gross weight. So if we follow the token string here, we see that time is C0, date is BF, and gross weight is a CF. So now that we know what those tokens are, we can use the labelary software here. So I'm going to modify this row here. I'm going to put in our time and date on this row. Simply clear out the data after the capital FD. And we need to put our slash C0 and our slash BF. That should be our time and date. There we go. Down here we can put our gross weight, which is a CF. And let's move that up a little bit. So we'll just change that to 460. Let's take this line out. Redraw. Let's move this up a little bit. 360 and let's make it a hundred CFO happens to change the print size now that we have the label printout edited correctly for a ZPL printer we can take this data string I like to copy it and I'm going to use a notepad document I'm going to paste it in here so I can save this document and use it another time also, we need to format the string so that it's one long row, and that way we can enter it into the View 300 software easily. I'm just hitting delete at the end of the strings. So now that we have our long string, we can highlight it, copy, and then we'd want to open the View 300 tool. Once we have the connection made to the X320, we'd want to go into Start Session and select Full Setup. Once there, we can verify the serial settings. We want to make sure it's set for Print and for Custom. Then we'd want to click on Instrument and Custom Print Format. Once there, we can modify the existing format or we can delete it out by hitting backspace, right click, and paste in our new custom print string. After that, press OK. Time and date settings can be adjusted under the clock menu. Then we can proceed to end session and disconnect. This concludes the X320 Zebra print formatting video.